Hey everyone, it's Tira with Rent Mason Bees. I'm always inspired by the emails and the calls and the questions that I get to do a new video. Uh, right now I'm getting a lot of calls and emails from people that are saying their Mason Bees are slowing down, they're not seeing as much activity, what to do now. Um, I did a video, is it last year or the year before, on how to safely uh, remove your nesting material and store in the shipping box that we sent to you that you then send back to us in September where we clean. But for those of you that aren't doing our program and you're just renting your or you're just hosting your own bees in your backyard, I wanted to come on and show you what you can do with your nesting material. Um, I bought this piece of tool for I think it was $1.50 at the fabric store. It's a yard, it's nice and big. You've seen me use this in some of my videos of helping mason bees emerge safely or making sure the predators stay in and the mason bees can get out. You can do something similar here. Um, mason bees do not stay out year round. They have to be removed at the end of spring. They only live six to eight weeks. And then you need to very gently remove their nesting material or cover it if you have nesting material that you are not able to remove. Um, hopefully you're using nesting material that is easily um, cleanable in the fall. So stacking trays, cardboard tubes, thing, things that you can open and clean. So one of the methods that you can do is um, if your nesting material is so big and you're not able to take it out, you can just get this really easy piece of tool from the fabric store, wrap it up, make a little bonnet, and just cover it very, very easily. It's actually easier to use a flat piece and then wrap it with whichever way you need. If you're able to remove your nesting material, then all you need to do is gently remove your nesting block gently because if there's babies in there, you wanna be careful with it. Store it with the holes upright. If you have cardboard tubes or reeds, you can get like a yogurt container or some sort of a tall plastic container and then just stack the tubes inside that container so that they stay upright. If you have our stacking trays, you can just simply take it and wrap it up inside the tool and then store it in your garage or shed. Uh, we want you to get this out of the summer elements. Um, sometimes the summers can be really, really hot. And um, I know a couple years ago here in the Seattle area, we hit some really hot temperatures, which isn't good for developing larvae. So it is always good to remove your nesting material. You wanna get them out of the summer elements like mono wasps, birds can get to them. And it's not required, it's not necessary to wrap them up, you don't have to. I haven't done it for years, I just take it and stick it on my shelf. But one of the reasons you would want to wrap it up is if you have earwigs or you have ants or you have other things that you don't want crawling out of this in your garage, you can just simply wrap it up. And then if anything does emerge, you can smoosh it, but your bees are safe inside. So this is a lot of the calls and emails that I'm getting right now. What do I do with Mason Bee Season? Um, some of you just put your blocks out so you still have mason bees flying, but for those in the hot states that put their bees out in February or March or around the uh, Pacific Northwest that put your bees out at the end of March, um, early April, you might start seeing your mason bees slow down. When you take it out is when you don't see any more mason bee activity and you'll very safely remove it and store it and make sure your bees are protected over summer and then make sure you're harvesting and cleaning in the fall. So those are some easy steps today to teach you about taking care of your mason bees at the end of spring, at the end of their life cycle of six to eight weeks. And uh, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel um, and definitely sign up for my newsletters. We're always teaching you stuff on newsletters and give us a call if you have any questions. Thanks everyone, happy pollinating, bye.